Welcome back. I'm Sam Hedden, and this is Now You Know. I have a very special guest. She is an amazing child director, writer, actress. She does pretty much everything. She lives right here in Minnesota, and she is phenomenal at everything she does. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Jocelyn. Hi. You want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. So, um, hi, my name is Jocelyn Sanchez, and I'm 12 years old. I made a film already. It was called Lost and Found, and my little sister acted in it, and I acted in it, and it was about two sisters um, being separated and then finding their way back to each other again. It won, I think, five awards, and I got second place in the 50-50 Kids Challenge, so that was really, really cool. And Sam Hedden was also on the cruise, and she helped out a lot. <laughs> and um, I was I started writing another script recently, and so I'm really excited to make that film soon because I'm thinking that we're going to produce it and all that stuff soon. And so I'm very, very excited. And I've been in a couple of short films, and my most recent one, I think, was uh, Tribulations, which was about... Um, like the immigrants and detention centers and all that stuff. And so, yeah, I started acting like two years ago, and it's been very, very fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, what got you into acting? Like, why was that something that you were drawn to? I think it was like, well, I was watching this show called Violeta, and it was in Spanish, and they were performing, and they were singing, and they were doing all this stuff, and I kind of thought to myself, how cool would it be if I was a performer like that, but in a different way, because I can't sing, and I can't dance very well, and I started taking acting classes when I was younger, and I kind of stopped just because I was so young, and I, I wasn't very into it, and then I kind of thought about maybe if I did it again, and then... My mom didn't believe me at first, and then I asked her again, like, a few weeks later, and then she finally took me seriously. And I think it's just kind of like the, maybe, like, uh, maybe being able to entertain others. Yeah, I think entertaining others is where I, I would do it. Yeah. First time I met you, you and your mom messaged me, and you came to Scenes from a Hat, the <laughs> live show. And that was the first time I met you. I had no idea that you would be doing so many amazing things. <laughs> um, what gave you, you said you wrote Lost and Found. What gave you the idea to write a script like that? Well, I've always kind of written stories like that for some reason. Like, my grandma had a uh, printer, and so I'd go on her computer, write a few stories, and then print it out. Mm -hmm. And I, it was called The Warriors of the Ocean. It doesn't really make sense now that I read it, just because I was so young. But I think kind of like Lost and Found, why I wrote it was because I kind of imagined like, me and my sisters are so close to each other because I have two sisters and one older brother. And I'm so close to my sisters. And although we fight a lot, I care about them so much. And I kind of thought about, like, what ha what would happen if they were taken away from me? Mm -hmm. And I kind of just thought, I think I thought about that. And I was like, I'm going to make that into a film and I'm going to show what I would do. Yeah, I would try to fight for them and I'd kind of try to, you know, get them back and, make them get them safe kind of yeah what was the process like for you I mean as an adult I've done the process of writing a film and then putting together a team could you tell me a little bit about any help you got or anything like that when I wrote it I wrote it in like an hour because I was so excited and um so then I went to a director uh his name was Nathan Block and I needed help because obviously I was really young. It was my first film. I didn't expect myself to be able to make an amazing film by myself. And so me and my mom decided that maybe it'd be best if I went to a director and get his opinion. And he told me the script was really good. He kind of helped me fix it up a bit, make it shorter because there's like a time limit. And then he helped me and my mom get some crew. And they all did it for free, which was really amazing. I think that was like the best part is that none of them like – were like um, strict about payment and all that stuff. And I, I was so surprised because there were so many people. Mm -hmm. And eventually there was a lot of actresses and actors who also like were like, I'll do this and I'll do that. And they want to help. And then I kind of was like so amazed that I tried adding more roles to the script. And then eventually I had to cut those roles out again because I realized that I can't do that and like it doesn't make sense to the script. 
But yeah, it was a long process, but it was a really fun one too. I got a lot of help from a lot of older and adults, and yeah. No te preocupes, Gabriela. Date fuerte, mi amor. Fuerte, no. No. Hey, see this? That's a circle iris. It's a magical kingdom. The little circle iris had food. So much food. Like more than a hundred grocery stores. And it's all free because there's no money and everybody shares everything. We can have chicken nuggets for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. ¿Qué pasa, güero? Okay, abuelita. Güero. ¿Tú hablas español? Yo aprendí un poco en la escuela. Tú y tu papá son gente amables. It used to irritate me when police would ask me questions, trying to see what I'm doing when I'm just hanging out with some other friends, kids my age. But after what happened to that kid from Minneapolis, that they kept playing with the news, I just can't get out of my head that it could happen to me too. I don't know, Freddy Bear. And what does Freddy Bear want you to say? It's bad for Matthew. But Mrs. Turner's death was an accident. No, he killed her. He doesn't like it when people are mean to us. Freddy Bear isn't real. I can't say that in front of the priest, Freddy Bear. I'll get in trouble. So you've been in quite a few short films now at this point, and not just in behind the camera, but in front of the camera. What was one of your favorite roles that you got to play? Uh, and why? I have like two favorite things. Like I had a favorite set and a favorite role because my favorite set was La Chancla, which was a film about um, um, me, the troublemaker, and then her cousin, or like, yeah, I think her, one of her, like her cousin, I think, um, they were fighting because uh, he, he doesn't know how to speak Spanish, but he's Mexican. And so she was making fun of him. And then um, it was really fun because we got to throw chancles around and everything was so cool. And we got to hit each other with pillows and the kids were just a lot of fun. And then my favorite role that I got to play was probably um, Gabrielle from Tribulations because I really had to challenge myself and I really had to... Um, I kind of got to see what I have learned or improved on because before I could barely even get tears in my eyes and it was really cool just to see myself like play that kind of role on TV or on the screen and yeah that was my favorite role because it really challenged me and so yeah that was my favorite. You said you're working on a script right now did are you able to tell us a little bit about that script that you're working on? I was thinking that script was going to be for like the 50-50 Hollows Eve challenge, which was, was going to be that for originally. But then last year we were trying to do it and we weren't able to because we didn't have enough crew. And basically it's about, um, I have to try to see if I can explain it without giving it away because I'm really bad at doing that. So uh, there's basically two kids who are siblings, brother and um, sister, and they have um, their foster parents. And they decided to run away because they're just in that emotional state where they're not very comfortable at their foster parents. And um, so they tried running away and then they eventually they got lost and they encountered a cabin and they met some very strange people inside the cabin. And then it kind of takes off from there, like the Hallow's Eve part of it and everything. <laughs> I don't want to explain too much because I don't want to give it away. No, that makes perfect sense. I get that. Is there a particular movie that is your favorite? I'm kind of curious because I've, a lot of filmmakers have a favorite movie and a least favorite movie. So what is your favorite movie and your least favorite movie? Well, okay, so I watch a lot of movies. <laughs> My dad, like his hobby, like his favorite thing to do is just to watch movies. And so I've watched pretty much every single movie on Netflix so far. Um, so if I had to pick a favorite, it would probably be It Man, the movie's It Man. Um, and he was the guy who taught um, Bruce Lee a few things. And there's a, there's three movies about him. And I don't know why, because I do martial arts and all that kind of stuff, I really liked the movie uh, It Man because it was really cool. And there's a lot of martial arts involved and a lot of cool action scenes. And yeah, my, my least favorite movie 
would probably be... It's a hard uh, question, isn't it? Yeah, I watch a lot of movies. Like um, one that you are like, I do not need to ever see that one ever again. Like I've seen it once, done. Uh, Alice in the Wonderland. I hated that movie so much. It was really boring. I watched it. It was so weird. And I just don't want to watch it again, ever. Wow. Well, that's quite the revelation. Um, what other hobbies do you have? Obviously, filmmaking is quite the process, and it takes a lot of time and energy. What else do you do with your time? I'm, I like to play with my friends a lot. And so... I, I usually go to my cousin's house a lot because me and her are like best friends. I always hang out with her and we're always having fun when we're together. So we, we make YouTube videos together sometimes. We just play video games together. I make YouTube videos on my own um, in my free time. And I also like to knit sometimes. I like to knit and I love to watch Korean shows and then rank them on a one to 10 and watch them over and over again. And uh, I do karate and I play the piano a lot. Wow. I, do, I, I practice karate um, usually two times a week. And then I also play the piano like whenever I feel like it or just like I'm free. Yeah. Do you have any advice for any other kids that might look, be looking to go into acting or filmmaking? What advice would you give them? I guess stay true to yourself just because there's a lot of roles sometimes where you can say no to them if you don't feel comfortable doing them. Like don't feel pressured into do something just because other kids are doing it or because you feel like um, maybe like your friends want you to do it. Like make sure you want to do it for yourself because if you don't, then you're going to get really bored really fast and you're going to not be happy. And so I just say like make sure that you really want to do it before you get started, I guess. And yeah. Now, that's some good advice. I think that that definitely, that's some good things to hear about. So since you are so young and you're just starting out, what are some of your long-term goals for this? Is this something you see yourself doing in the future? What are your dreams as far as it goes for filmmaking? Well, right now, um, I mean, I still have a lot more years to go. I don't know how... I will change or maybe my um, goals will be in the future. But right now, I can, all I can see myself doing is acting. Um, if I don't do acting, I'd like to be an FBI agent or something like that. I really like that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I think my long-term goal is to eventually um, to get into a show or a movie like every other actor or actress wants to. And I think just really work with some really cool and really good actors and with the end of the show like Stranger Things or The Walking Dead or like Riverdale, but like a more kid version of that and that kind of stuff, like an investigation kind of thing. I really like those kind of shows. And I took a bunch of quizzes to see if I was worthy of being a detective and they all said yes. So I'm pretty excited about that. You could and be the next Nancy Drew. Do you know who Nancy yeah. Drew is? You could, yeah. uh, could do that. Jocelyn is absolutely amazing, and I'm really glad that she was able to meet me via Zoom and that her fantastic mom was all right with that. So huge shout out to her mom. And I think that this kiddo has a huge bright future ahead of her as an actress, as a director, a producer, a writer, on top of everything else that she does. This has been Sam Hedden with producer Andy Watson, and now you know, Jocelyn Sanchez. <laughs> or you can do it your way first, and then you can do it my way. Or, I mean, we'll just Shut see up. <clears throat>